Hi viewers, welcome to Virtual Coffee with Jagadish in Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. Today we have a guest called Mr. Shankar, who is currently working in Microsoft as software engineer at Hyderabad. Thank you, Shankar, for accepting my request. Welcome to Parnika Tutorials YouTube channel. Thank you for having me, sir. It's my pleasure to have you in this discussion. I hope whatever the discussion we will do for next 15 to 20 minutes, the discussion will be useful for all the students who are doing BTEC in various colleges in India and who has the dream of doing job in Microsoft, they will be much more helpful. Can my viewers know about your educational qualification? Sure. Um, I finished most of my secondary education in Hyderabad in, in various schools. And later I joined B.Tech Computer Science in uh, DM Kanchipuram in Chennai um, in the year 2016. Um, I got a seat there through JE Mains. Oh, that's wonderful. During your programming journey, which programming language did you start with? And does programming language matter a lot? Uh, before joining DM, uh, I had a very limited knowledge about uh, computer science and um, I haven't done any programming whatsoever. And after I joined, uh, initially in the first year, we had C programming language and I started with that. And parallelly, I was also uh, learning C++ and for the most of the time that used to be my uh, primary programming language. And in in few cases, I was also using Python. Uh, I feel like one can start with any programming language to begin with, um, but definitely some languages have uh, more advantages over other and those can be chosen based on the use case. That's wonderful suggestion for all the students. Can I know what are the resources you have used to learn the programming language? Sure. Um, I, I started learning data structures and algorithms from um, CP algorithms and Geeks for Geeks. And I used to practice uh, problems on those uh, from SPODs and later uh, lead code. As you said, you have started your programming during your BTEC only. Can you know what are the flaws you have observed during this learning? I, I realized a bit late um, that maintaining consistency is like as important as uh, main, uh, total amount of time spent. Um, that I realized a bit late. Uh, initially, I used to uh, spend time during weekends and holidays for longer times. But later, um, I came to know through experience that uh, working just for one hour or even half an hour a day uh, gave me more results than uh, working six hours uh, during weekends. Yeah, that's wonderful. Even I also believe that mantra. A lot of students will have their own dreams. They will think that after my BTEC, I want to go for a Microsoft or Google or someone will have a dream that I want to do MS in foreign. So what they will do is usually they will enjoy first few years and then from third year they will start doing their things for their goal. But due to this uh, lack of time, they will have a lot of pressure. So one should have their goal fixed and they should start giving time regularly, either one hour or two hours for their goal so that they will have a consistency growth and they can easily reach their goal. That's a wonderful suggestion from your side. I totally agree, sir. I came to know that you got an internship opportunity at Microsoft. Can my viewers know about it? When I finished my second year, uh, during my third year summer vacation, I applied for an internship opportunity through careers.microsoft.com uh, through off campus. and. Uh, I got an opportunity for attending their uh, recruitment process and through that I, I got an internship. What technology you have used in the internship? When I was interning at Microsoft, uh, I was working both on backend and frontend technologies. Um, and also I, I got um, some exposure on Azure and their offerings. Uh, I think you have done the project and the internships. So what is the difference you have observed doing project at college versus internship in the industry? Uh, in the industry, like you also have to deal with 
um, various aspects like um, high coding standards, uh, developing test plans, unit tests, and, and sort of things. And with everything moving to uh, cloud native development, we also have to deal with scaling, deployment, security, uh, resiliency, and, and so on. Um, so it, it is like rare to work on all, on a project involving all of these um, in college. That's that's what I feel. And one more thing is in, in college, you may not necessarily work in large collaborative teams uh, spanning across multiple regions, but that's something that we had to do uh, in the job. I came to know that you got placement offer from Microsoft. Can you elaborate about it? Yes. Um, when I was interning, the period was for five months. Um, after five months, uh, I was offered a pre-placement offer uh, to convert my internship into a full-time offer. And I accepted that and joined as a full-time employee in uh, summer 2020. Which technical skills you have learned in your BTEC was useful in getting the job? Uh, that would be uh, having a bit of exposure and practice in uh, DSA. Uh, that is like helping me to think, to think through uh, corner cases, like faster implementations and uh, sometimes doing uh, uh, some optimizations on, on the implementation that I have done as well. So that's the uh, major skill that, that's helping me a lot. Currently, in which technologies you are using at Microsoft? Okay. Uh, even now, like I'm working both on backend and frontend technologies. And for backend, uh, I mostly use uh, .NET Core and Node.js. And for frontend, uh, we use uh, Angular and React. And apart from that, uh, for deployments and integration, we use various Azure offerings. That's wonderful. Now, currently, you're working both on front end and back end. If a student who have a similar dream, whether it is Microsoft or some other company, he also want to work in front end and back end development, what are the technologies he should learn before joining in the job? Front end and back end, like basically for full stack development, uh, people can like focus on what's the trending and uh, stable uh, technology. Like we have uh, React for front end, Flutter, and uh, so on. And for back ends, we have various uh, uh, frameworks like .NET Core, and um, even like for back ends, especially we have multiple uh, programming languages and frameworks and depending on various use cases people can uh, leverage uh, the features of multiple things like golang node.js or uh, even even python in in few cases and .NET core and so on okay that's wonderful suggestion for all the btech students there currently there are a lot of buzzwords such as machine learning data science cloud computing iot etc etc and students are uh, trying to focus on these multiple domains. And some are getting succeed, some are fairly miserably. Can I get some suggestions from you for those students? I feel like uh, exploring everything is, is, a, is a good thing in a way. But uh, we have to uh, be ready to face the setbacks and failures. Uh, because we are still like, in the exploring phase. Uh, Failure doesn't mean that's the end. Uh, so I feel like once you identify what all areas like you are interested in, you can look for uh, various ways of doing uh, things in that uh, particular area. For example, uh, we have, like you said, we have AI, big data, uh, AR, virtual reality, all, all the stuff. Uh, suppose if I'm interested in AI, I might learn, uh, try to learn a Python and its related libraries. And um, so say I'm interested in VR and AR or game development, I can focus on learning Unity, 3D modeling, and, and technologies in that. And uh, personally, I have tried a few things and uh, go, failed to make progress in that. Uh, I, I just moved on uh, to another uh, field and explored that. How did you build your profile? What are the aspects you have considered while building your profile? Uh, I was exploring uh, different fields of computer science, like I've said previously, and um, I was having uh, various things related to uh, DSA and uh, some projects related to AI and ML and few few internships also uh, in my uh, resume. That's how 
uh, I, I build uh, my profile. And um, when, when I say projects and internships, uh, they were both related to uh, industry and academic research. What is the importance of projects and internships during BTEC? For me, uh, both were like uh, very helpful. In fact, my current job is uh, through an internship. And um, in fact, during the uh, interview at Microsoft, I have been asked about uh, the projects that I have mentioned in my resume. So both are, I feel both are like quite important. And uh, I, I personally was trying to make sure that uh, my resume had projects related to like major fundamentals of computer science, like uh, DSA, DBMS, uh, operating systems, uh, etc. And in addition, I was also working under uh, supervision of uh, the professors in Triple I T D M and uh, worked on applied research uh, in uh, deep learning. That that also helped me uh, getting a publication and became an add-on to uh, the resume. That's wonderful. You said about the publication. Does publication really plays a major role for getting the job in software? It depends on uh, the role that you're applying for. Uh, if I'm applying for an R&D role or uh, or a role uh, which demands a lot of uh, skills in, in that particular area, um, then um, that would be helpful. Uh, not necessarily R&D field. Suppose I have a public publication, good publication in uh, AI and ML, and I'm going into a, a software engineering team which uh, deals with AI and ML, uh, even they consider it uh, worthy and uh, so that that's uh, helpful in, in that way. Okay. Further, you said uh, you have a publication. Is it a conference or a journal? Uh, it's a journal. Um, we worked on prediction of uh, adverse drug reactions uh, using uh, computational neural networks. Um, and that led to a journal publication. That's wonderful. Like you have joined in Microsoft as an intern and then you got the placement. Does really the college name or the standard matters in getting such a dream companies? Not uh, really, because when I applied for uh, the internship, it was an off campus one and uh, the eligibility criteria doesn't uh, mention any college or uh, any tire of college uh, um, for, for the in the eligibility criteria. And like uh, college matters in few in many cases generally like having a formal education is uh, generally good and some companies have a uh, minimum cgpa criteria and things like that but that's not the case always because uh, in recent times like there are multiple really uh, good resources available online uh, for example pernica tutorials uh, helps like for all computer science people and like there are companies that also assess based on only performance and not the education background so having a formal education is good, but uh, not necessary. Further, uh, maybe I don't know whether a lot of students will accept my question. Does really a good CCPA is very, very important? A few companies, yes. Uh, but for the big companies that we have all uh, the MNCs, uh, they generally have a minimum CGPA criteria and sometimes not even that. Uh, and if you just qualify that, that, that would be enough in, in most of the cases. OK, you said the minimum CCPA. What will be the minimum CCPA for several companies? Uh, I have seen a uh, few companies uh, putting a criteria from 6.5 to 7.5, and rarely it goes above it. OK, so a student who has a 7-point CCPA is a decent one. They should not always focus on 10 CGP or 9 CGP. So maintaining 7 CGP or 7.5 with good programming skills is more than sufficient. Am I right? Uh, it is sufficient, but uh, having a good CGP like well above 9 or uh, even more than that uh, is always um, good uh, as long as you can maintain your uh, preparation uh, in the uh, programming and other areas as well. and and uh, that's what i feel and uh, i have seen people who have like very high cgpa and that also helps in uh, getting honors and other kind of degrees uh, when they are pursuing their formal education when you will burn out what you will do to refresh yourself 
Um, I generally, when, whenever I feel burned out, that will be usually during uh, end of uh, work week, hectic work week. And I generally uh, watch anime to refresh myself. And sometimes I, I play even badminton uh, with my friends. That's good. Uh, we have covered a lot of things, right? From your education background, your internship, and what programming language one should learn and how to build the resume, etc. Et Does we miss any points in this discussion? No, sir. Uh, you pretty much covered everything and I had a great time. Okay. Uh, currently, there are several students are doing their education in online. Can you give suggestions for them which will be useful? Sure. Um, one thing that uh, I, I felt that uh, I should have known before joining college is um, having uh, more knowledge in concepts of object-oriented programming like design patterns, uh, solid principles, etc. Um, so learning those now like help me write code in terms of uh, readability, reusability, and other uh, coding standards. So that's something um, that I would uh, say is underrated and people have uh, it's better to have exposure in that area as well and uh, other than that having like i said in my previous answer uh, having consistency is the key to uh, success that's what i i believe okay can i know your future plans yeah. currently um, the only thing that i'm focusing on is uh, upskilling myself and uh, being updated with uh, the latest and greatest technologies in the in the industry and uh, getting up to the standards and keeping up with uh, the pace. Thank you, Shankar. It was a wonderful interaction with you. The students who have watched this video, they will feel it is worthy. And those who have the similar goals like you, they would have known the path or where they should start and what are the important concepts they should focus. Thank you once again for accepting my request and giving your valuable time to the students who are studying BTEC in several engineering colleges. Thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Uh, very happy to be here.